sovereign citizen do? That means, guys, you are a sovereign citizen from Mexico. I know all about the gold bridge and how fraudulent it is. They hit me with a really strong dose of OC spray. I want to speak to you, Jess Soldier, now! I know the laws, buddy, and I'm waiting for you to do something wrong so I can sue you in the pocket. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? Hi folks, I turned on channel memberships a couple days ago, so please become a member if you're so inclined. I'll be making members only content and I'm going to be uploading custom emojis for members to use. The join link's in the description box. Now on to the stupid. Today we're going to be taking another look at the Sovereign Citizen Marcel Bissette. If you didn't see my last video about him, here's a quick recap. Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Uh, my name is Marcel of the Family Bassett. I'm pulling from Peacemaker Society. Hey, I know you work there and you're fully liable. Okay, we're going after you. That's a million bucks. You just cost yourself a million bucks and you're going to be leaned and uninsurable because you just committed securities fraud. And as I'm a sovereign with a fee schedule, your agents are liable a million dollars per infraction, as are you for willful negligence, which is equal to fraud. Limitation of Powers Corporations Act, you can't give an order. Um, this is all recorded. I'm putting this up public. I'm a chief justice. I don't sue. I don't go to court. You've already committed a crime and I'm already able to financially end your agents. If you thought that was crazy, strap in, because the Marcel in my last video was very well adjusted compared to the one that I'm about to show you. Apparently, Marcel has a bad habit of making batshit crazy videos and then deleting them, but thanks to a subscriber who calls himself OO, I have access to them. Let's watch. I'm worth tens of thousands of dollars an hour, about to be millions of dollars per hour, because I'm better than you. I'm on the same plane as people like Martin Luther King, Gandhi, Andrew Carnegie, Rockefellers, except for I'm using it for good. That was a pretty elite group that he just named. Keep watching and ask yourself, did any of them act like this? You don't want to talk shit to me every fucking day? Fuck you. My obligation to help any of you is fucking over. I am not bound to my oath anymore. That oath is being changed. You fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. You lay hands on me, I'll fucking punch you in the face. I'm open to charges again, I don't give a fuck. Come talk to my face and I'll beat your fucking ass. You just saw me burn my oath, I have no obligation to any of you anymore. Wash my fucking hands, I'm gonna watch the system murder all of you. You're fucked. Seems like a very stable guy, right? Very reminiscent of Gandhi. Anyway. You won't even come near me because I'm smarter and better than all of you. So if anyone threatened me ever, no, I could squish you like a fucking clown. Like you're nothing. If you're wearing a mask for COVID, fuck you. If you're bowing down to social distancing and all that, fuck you. If you squawk at people who are standing up to cashiers violating rights and you squawk at me like that fucking retard and his wife did at Chopper's Drug Mart, fuck you. Okay, the only reason I use the N-word is because it's the only word I can use that stupid minds can register what the fuck that means. You heard that right. He uses the N-word a lot. I edited all that out, but he uses it multiple times per video. And he has the nerve to compare himself to Martin Luther King. I did a video like this a little bit ago, but it was a little too much. So you think I'm the suit? I'm not this fucking suit, okay? I'm not a tie. You challenging me? You think you're challenging my fucking clothes? I'm not challenging shit. Just so you know, I'm not going naked here, just so people aren't worried about it. No actual genital nudity of any fucking kind. I'm not a fucking pig. Anyway, lower this just a little bit so you can see properly. Right, okay. Y'all think I'm a fucking punk, okay? How many of you are going to go fucking strip down right now to make your fucking point? Okay, I get called, I'm an old man. I get told I'm fucking this and that. People are going to take me out. Fucking, I'm 40. I'm not even in shape right now. This is out of shape. What, you gonna fucking do some? Again, I'm a fucking, I'm a fighter from the streets. Anyone who thinks I'm some fucking punk in a fucking office? Motherfuckers? You wanna fuck around? Fucking what? Fuckers. What's up? Hmm? Huh? You fucking know me? You're out of motherfuckers. But you wanna fuck with me? This is a message to everyone who violates me. When I give you a verbal fucking warning and I bill you, it's because if you step past that, this is what you're gonna fucking get. Right, motherfuckers? I had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with gangs. I had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with cops. I've been on top 10 most wanted. 
So within that, anyone who's sitting there talking shit to me, you're going to come fucking take me? You're a fat fuck, most of you. Good fucking luck. You're also fucking stupid. The reason I won 500 street fights is when you shift your weight to even throw a punch, I'm already three moves into kicking your fucking head in. Think we're going to answer to you? I don't fucking think so. I don't break the law. Most of you fucking do. Every legal contract with legal personhood, you're stripping people of their fucking rights. And I'm coming to end it, motherfuckers. It gets worse. The cringe is real, people. You might think maybe he's just having a bad day and said some things out of anger, and this is just an isolated incident. Think again. I am moving past everyone I ever knew. I'm letting everyone in my life go because I'm done with civilian life. Look at this body, huh? You think you're going to come up knocking out? Fuck you. I've been over 500 fucking street fights in my life. Over 500. This body takes anything, man. This brain, I've been beating people at chess since I was five fucking years old, okay? Okay, I make about $30,000 a month right now with this shit, and I'm putting every penny of it into DVDs and flyers to get everyone signed up. Everyone be sure to go sign up for his organization. This is going to be huge. So this is a message to the Freemasons, the Illuminati, to everyone out there serving this fucking COVID bullshit fucking... It's, to my understanding, genetic material, not a fucking virus. The numbers are all full of shit. It's all the media people out there on the mainstream fake news. We're going to bill and lean you too. When I say coming for all of you, I mean with litigation. I mean with private investigators looking into every area of your life. I mean with public hearings of sovereign councils recorded. When I started billing the police cadets, that's when they put me on Winnipeg's top 10 most wanted. Uh, within that, I'm a really good fucking hearted guy, but I, I'm done with everyone's shit. So I'm going past all of you. So he rage quit life, right? Wrong. Stupid apparently cannot stop being stupid. He posted this three days ago. Okay, we are at Salvation Army Thrift Store on Sherbrooke Avenue. Uh, they are insisting that people wear masks in violation of rights law and international law. I'm going to go serve notice right now. I guess holding the camera straight is too hard for him. Let me see if I can fix that. And tell them they can go fuck themselves. Okay, that's a little better. At least he's upright now. Still stupid, but at least vertical. This COVID's bullshit and this is rights violations, they can go fuck themselves. Fucking assholes. I just came to video evidence. This, you guys are requiring masks, right? Uh, that's what they want. Okay. I'm not so much here for you. You're cool. Hello. <laughs> I'm just recording this. Uh, you're liable, hey, for getting people to wear masks so they suffocate themselves. You're violating international law for about 10 bucks an hour. Hi, I'm video evidencing. You told me I have to wear a mask, right? You're going on the internet no, for violating it. Actually, fuck you. I'm under international law, all rights reserved. You are a war criminal, and I'm recording you. Fuck you on behalf of freedom, and this is going on YouTube. You just became famous. Your home address and photo are going online, too. Let me get a nice up close here for you. No, I'm not giving you permission. I don't need your permission. This is a public space, retard. Fuck you. What are you doing? So that's Marcel Bissett. His channel's full of this, so let me know in the comments section if you want to see more of his crazy. If you like this video and you want to see more stupid in the future, please like and subscribe.